Hi there, this is Don Rosenberg. If you've recently been made an organizer of a meetup group, this is going to be a quick tutorial that shows you how to set up an event, edit and copy an event. This will make your life much easier because Meetup has a lot of tricks for making events easy to do. We're also going to be creating an index so that if you have a question in the future, you can go back to the index and you won't have to watch the entire video. Let's get started. At your home page, you'll see on the left, Group Tools and Schedule a Meetup. Scheduling a meetup is as simple as filling in the blanks. What should we do? Let's have an organizer meeting. Select the date and time, October 14th at 10.30 a.m. Select a place. You, if you've had recent places, then you can pick from a list there. You can try to find a place. And it's giving you some suggestions. And it happens to be that we're going to be um, meeting at the James B. Hunt Jr. Library. You might want to give a little hint here as to um, where you're meeting. So we'll be in the in meeting room number five. And the rest is just all the details. Now the cool thing about this is once you start typing there's some things you can add. So you might want to say we will be having our first organizer meeting for Wake County. Please bring paper and pencil. Now the other fun stuff is you can start to do some something a little fancy. You can add photographs. So if you look at these icons, B here is to bold. If you want to make something bold, you can certainly make something italic. You can do bullet points. Uh, you can highlight something and do a hyperlink to it and give that link address. Um, now what I like is the ability to use photographs. So in this case, we're going to use a picture of Dr. Ben Carson. And there we have, we'll be having our first organizer meeting for Wake County. Now another thing you can do, which I also think is very exciting, is um, you can embed a video. So you click this little icon up here type in the URL of the video that you want. Now if you don't know how to do that, just go up to YouTube, find the video you want, and here's a video on meetup.com basics. So click on that. Once it starts to play, you can pause it, you can hit share, and there's your, there's your share code. Just copy that, go back to your meetup, and insert the video URL. And look, there it is. Before you come to the meeting, please watch the video below. This is very exciting because Meetup allows you to watch a video right in the, the description of the event. If you have any questions, please contact me. All right, and we can make that bold. And the Control B key works just as well for bold. Now, who's hosting the meetup? That's going to be you if you've been given organizer privileges, but you can also add somebody else as an organizer. That's done you can repeat the meetup. Now this is very exciting because if you're going to have a regular Thursday meeting then you can go ahead and edit this. You can say we're going to repeat it by weeks. Certainly you can see you can repeat it by months, by day of month, etc. We're going to do it every Thursday and um, you can say we're never going to stop repeating it or you can say we're going to stop repeating on November 20th, 25th. 
and you also want to have the system automatically remind members of these regular meetings. You can charge for a meetup. You can have RSVP settings where you can uh, limit attendance. If there's uh, the room is small and you only have room for 20 people, it can create a, a waiting list. Also, you might want to limit the number of guests that a member can bring to so maybe one. And then email settings. Um, you might want to uh, set it so that the members are given automatic reminders and also the event hosts are given an update when members RSVP. That's very helpful. Also, you can set up questions when they RSVP. Um, what city do you live in? Notice it's already there. And how would you like to help the campaign? All right. Now, once the meeting is uh, set up, you hit, simply hit schedule this meetup now. Another great feature is the ability to copy a previous meeting for the future. This saves you from having to enter the same information in over and over again. Click on a previous meeting, click copy this meetup, and all we have to do is choose, you might want to change the title a little bit. Uh, click here for a monthly meeting message. You might want to set up the date. The date might be the 22nd. It might be at 8 p.m. But all of the same content is the, is the same. You might want to, in this case, change the video. Put in the new video using this little icon. Type in the video URL that we had from before. And then here's the new tutorial. Here's a video tutorial on Meetup. We can make that bold. And then once you're done, uh, again, you can change whether there's a charge, the RSVP settings, you can change questions, etc. And then you can go ahead and schedule the Meetup. So thanks for watching our little tutorial and I hope you enjoy your meetup experience.